Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what's inside. Wait, why is there nothing inside here? Because this box is really just part of the puzzle, and my job is to put as many chocolates inside as I can, and I have them here. As you can see, there's a lot of chocolates in here, and it looks like they are going to fit pretty easily into this jar. But the chocolates here aren't made of separate pieces, they are made in blocks, like this. It reminds me of a letter T or a figure from Tetris. And we have six identical blocks like that. This puzzle is printed with 3D printer, I specially made the puzzle of chocolate color. Just imagine being given a box like this and being told to pack as many chocolates as you can fit into this box. In this case, so that the box tightly closed the lid. So, as you understand, the task of this puzzle is to put all this chocolate inside. And close the box with the lid. It will not be easy to do, because uh, the jar has round shape. But I'm sure that the solution to this puzzle will please not only me, but also you. So you could like it right now. And for those of you who did this, I'm going to show you another 3D printed puzzle. It's a chocolate bar. I already sold it, uh, there's a video on my channel. This is probably one of the first puzzles that I printed with 3D printer. It consists of uh, these blocks and is sold very easily. Here the blocks are rectangular and the frame has rectangular shape. And the direction of these details gives us an additional clue. We can't put it like this, because the tiles don't match. It's very simple puzzle. But here the box is round, there are no corners from which we can start. And by the way, I'm wondering how we can put these chocolates together. We can put together several blocks. We can put them together in several layers. As you can see, they already occupy a lot of space and it will be difficult to put them in a box this way. And we still have two. Let's try to solve the puzzle, maybe we will find some secret. So we press the start button to solve this puzzle with a timer and you can write in the comments how much time you think it will take me to cope with it. Well, here we go. Let's start uh, by putting at least one detail. It uh, fits very tightly to the edge with uh, these two sides. What else can we put here? Maybe another such chocolate block, for example. Hmm, fits! Look, perfect! And this is very good. The problem is uh, that not many details can fit into the remaining space. We certainly can't put uh, the whole detail here. We definitely can't put it sideways, because it doesn't fit in the box, as you can see. We're going to have to put the last part in this way anyway, because it doesn't fit in here in a simple way. It fits diagonally. By the way, each of these chocolates is a small 18-sided complex shape. Hmm, uh, we can put them together like uh, this. And then we have this kind of space between the chocolates. And the space is large. Can we put these chocolates uh, in as little space as possible? For example, not like this, but uh, like this. Moving it one layer here and down. If we combine them like that, there's not much space left. And that way we have three lines of candy that can fit in height into our box. Do I understand correctly? One, two, three layers. It should fit the height. Maybe this is the secret of the puzzle, not the most obvious position of the details. It's already better, but there are still these squares. And what if we make three of these blocks? One, two, three. And try to somehow put them inside symmetrically. For example, one, mm, one, and two, Mm -hmm. For some reason, it doesn't fit well. It doesn't work. I can't put these two blocks in any way except putting them down like this. In this case, they are placed in one plane, but there is still a free space in the form of such small triangles between them. They should definitely be placed on each other, and perhaps even diagonally. That's it. Three diagonally. Pretty compact. We have uh, three more. How should I put them now, so that uh, they are... Wow, that's the position I like. Will it fit in a box? It looks like a bee's honeycomb. Oh, it won't work, it's much bigger than the jar. And if we move one more row over here... Mm, unfortunately, it's not going to fit either. There's too much chocolate. 
I've just put them right on top of each other and uh, that's how they can fit. Oh no, it's too high, the lid can't close. Well, interesting, I think you already have your own idea about how to solve this puzzle. But trust me, solving a puzzle by yourself, holding it in your hands is much more enjoyable. Hmm, this is quite evenly, in a chess order. Maybe such a detail fits diagonally, for example. Ow, again I ruined everything. Damn, it's strange. I'm confused. For some reason I thought that uh, if we put three chocolates on each other, we'd uh, put them all in a jar. But as you can see, they are sticking out. You know, if I had a situation in my life uh, when I had some candies and just one box to put them there, frankly speaking, I would just eat most of candies. Look, at least four candies fit pretty easily. Pretty easily. Four. But it seems that there's no space for the rest of the details. Does this puzzle have any solution? Strange things are happening. There's something really weird with this puzzle. Two. So, and this is the last. Does it fit? Doesn't want, come on! I'm so close, maybe this way, the other side, look. No, but this way? No, I can't do it. Folks, subscribe to the channel and turn on all notifications, because in one of the following videos I gonna solve one unconventional puzzle called Tough Measures, and the solution will be really tough, so don't miss out. Guys, I found a secret. Look at the shape of our detail. It has bevels at a certain angle. And it's the same here, just take a look. I didn't expect this. We can put parts into each other and they become one. Well, it's genius. Look, these holes are just for that. And this may be the key to the solution. And will it go here? Oh, I'm so surprised now. To be honest, it turns out the solution is so simple. Look, it fits perfectly. I need to create an absolutely symmetrical shape from the remaining details. In my opinion, the puzzle will be solved now. Well, absolutely symmetrical parts, and they have to connect somehow. Hmm. Oh my god, they connect, look! Holy shit! God! It's amazing! It took me 19 minutes to solve this brilliant chocolate box puzzle. Look how perfectly all the candy are placed inside. Such a one-piece monolithic block. There is no free space inside at all. Wow, guys, I don't know about you, but this puzzle really inspired me. Let's get as many likes and views as possible on this video and I'll continue to solve other 3D printed puzzles. Personally, I really like to create puzzles and print them myself. And solving and showing you a solution is just a delight. Be sure to check my other videos that are now seen on your screens. Thank you all so much for watching, that was Kibastic, bye everyone.